So we'd like to thank very much uh, uh, Mr. Pascal Lamy for his presentation and the food for thought that he has given us. Unfortunately, because he has to go, we cannot discuss some of this, but I'm sure the, the issues will be handled uh, with, with the panelists. He has given us a tour d'horizon, as you can see from the expose, from the keynote speech, that there is no silver bullet. So we are not facing a problem in which one will say, this is the solution. No, there are many, uh, many issues. Uh, it is not a, a menu, it's a la carte. There are things that are fundamental to be there, think at the political level, think at the private sector level, think that the, uh, uh, the government has to do to induce competitiveness, things at the border, things uh, legislative, things related to uh, trade facilitation, things related to aid for trade. So it's a big array of issues that, will, that, that need to be done to realize what is the objective. For at the end of the day, we must ask the question, what are, what, what are we asking for? There is an, a, a proverb or an expression that says, if you don't know where you're going, any road will take you there. So we have to know what do we want. By this is a means, of course, we look at these trade agreements not as an end, but as a means. The end of that is this integration through creating employment, creating jobs, better economic welfare, value added so that the societies can develop. And as we said, the people, the, 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 what is being said is being seen more serious now because the demonstrations and the people who marched in the streets it wasn't only about political freedom. It was also very much relevant to what we're discussing today, about the creation of jobs, about the rising prices, about the unemployment, about the fluctuations. And therefore, uh, as I said, this is not anymore a luxury of academicians or institutions. So with this setting of the tone, I'd like to, to turn to Mr. Al Mansouri from Tazdir uh, to thank him very much for co-sponsoring uh, and to thank uh, Qatar for co-sponsoring and for hosting us here and for, to, to give us his uh, experience uh, from Tazdir, Qatar Export uh, Facility, of the programs that you're doing. And we know that uh, it is easy to export oil and gas, but uh, 2%, the other 2% exactly. from Qatar's export besides oil and gas, this is the big challenge. Exactly. So thank you very much and give you the floor and to give us that thank perspective. You. Thank you. Uh, good morning, ladies and, uh, and gentlemen. Actually, it's a great honor, pleasure for Tazdir to be a part of this event, actually. And I'm pleased to welcome you all, ladies and gentlemen, to the panel discussion on free trade agreements organized in association with the International Trade Center in Geneva. I would like to especially extend and welcome our gratitude to Mr. Pascal Lamy, who just uh, left Director of General World Trade Organization, Mrs. Patricia Frances, Executive Director of International Trade Center, Geneva, and His uh, Excellency uh, Mr. Hisham Bader, Ambassador of Egypt to the UN. Uh, actually, Qatar Export Development Agency, Tazdir, has been set up uh, by the Qatar uh, Development Bank with the goal of further enabling the growth and international reach of Qatari companies by offering export financial uh, products and solutions and export development and promotion services. Uh, our export strategy has uh, identified Arab countries as an important target market for our products. I'm glad that uh, this seminar has come at the right time and will provide good insights into activating the free trade, uh, trade uh, agreements for the benefit of all. At the end, I wish you all uh, uh, and the panel discussion all the success. Thank you very much. Thank you.